So today we're off to our first sporting event of the year. It's called Equine Trail Sports, and it's a fun competition. Although there are ribbons awarded in first place and all that, we just do it for fun. So if you've ever wondered about these kind of competitions, come on along, we'll explain it to you. And if you just like horses or you like to learn about different things, well, today's a great opportunity to do that. We're taking two of our younger horses, Jesse My Paint and Kathy's Buckskin Louie. And Jesse's never been out to one of these, but Louie has. So it's gonna be a really fun day. Come on along, let's show you what this is all about. Trail Sports is a really fun competition that is really friendly because the people out there are out to have a good time and support each other. We did a few of them last year and this is the first one of 2023 and we've got typically they're either two days with one day being in hand meaning that you're on the ground without a saddle or anything just simply a lead rope. The second day would be riding, or it's two days of riding. This one was one day of groundwork and the second day riding, but we decided to only do the ground portion. People are very, very supportive. Even if you don't know them, they're rooting for you. Oh. Just waiting for the competition. There's our friend Lisa who will be hosting the next competition. Now there are people that really want to get the ribbons and the belt buckle for High Point at the end of the year. And I think that's fantastic because last year I was very competitive in wanting that. But it never interfered with my supporting the other competitors. We had so much fun, and as you can see, there's all kinds of different people there, age groups, horse styles, experiences. It just doesn't matter. People are there for a good time and to see what they can do with their horse and explore all the possibilities of that relationship.
So my wife and I have already gone. We had a really good time. Jesse was really great to work with. I really had a lot of fun. And what I enjoyed was coming out of my shell and entertaining, telling jokes, and just being free to bring out those other parts of me. Plus, Jesse was just so much fun. I mean, he's not uh, versed in this at all. He's not experienced. We've never done this. I haven't touched him really for a year and a half, but he really did great. So I'm really thrilled, and it was a lot of fun. And my wife had a ball, which makes me really happy. just about through. There's a couple of people just finishing up and then we're going to have a dinner that's supplied by Sterling who owns this place and puts this on. He's always very accommodating and just a great host. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Hit the notification bell so you'll always be informed when we put up a new video, but it was a fantastic day. I'm going to do more this year with Jesse. I hadn't planned on it. I thought this might be the only one because I wasn't really motivated to work with our horses. But this year, I'm going to work with Jesse. He was just so much fun and we had a great time and a great relationship. And it's just, I can feel the connection with him even though we're not trained together like I am with my other horse, Hala, Arabian mare that I won the awards with last year and everything. But he's just, really surprised me today and surprised my wife as well so had a great time enjoyed seeing some old friends and acquaintances and i'll look forward to the next one and until the next time stay safe and i'll see you on the next one bye for now so black and white <laughs> but that's blue, blue or sorry that was with blue bell second place Second place intermediate is going home with Leanne and Stormy. Yeah. Yeah.